Hey everybody, welcome to a new LP, just called Gun. This is kind of like the granddaddy to a Red Dead Redemption 2 in a way, um, except of course, uh, there's no real character choices here, it's all pretty much on rails, um, and it doesn't look anywhere near as good as that game did. Well, that said, uh, let me see here, let me check my volumes. Shit, I hit the fucking macro key. I'm gonna go easy because it's been a long fucking time. Montana, 1880. My name is Colton White. My father and I hunt game for the steamboat to travel on the Missouri. Not a bad living if you can stand your old man kicking you every morning at dawn. Fight some jerky and collect your gear. Time to earn our pay. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. The more this is very much. Bag, the more we get paid. Let's get moving. Right behind you, Paul. Very much like a Western movie. Only with a strong dislike of prostitutes, apparently, which you'll see. Elk bed. I can smell them. Tracks are fresh. Come on. Well, fucking go, dude. Oh, and the AI in this is fucking special. Let me this tell way. you. There he is. Got him. Quail. Promise the cook I'd bring him to shoot when I flush him out. Draw your weapon. Wait here while I stir up them birds. You're gonna need at least three. Nice shot. Wouldn't be much left of the fuckers, though. You got another. Got him. Well, I'll be damned. You did it. Hey, you're pretty good with that iron. See if you can take down the next group with your first <coughs> draw. Okay, yes, go ahead. That was too easy. Now try to get all these. What's next? We're burning daylight. Let's go hunt us some elk. Note he's not actually cleaning any of the uh, bodies. He's gonna kind of leave them laying there. Guess he doesn't care all, over much about the uh, quality of things. Oh, wolves, yeah. Okay. Okay, back to business. I don't need to refill my health. I didn't get hurt. Follow close and keep quiet. <clears throat> don't fall off the ledge. You spook the herd. All right, you made it. Remember, don't fall off. Come here. Well, that bear, <coughs> fucking follow me. <coughs> Excuse me. Use your sights to get a closer look. We're gonna need to bag at least two of these elk. Uh, well, let me spot one first. You're getting the hang of it. Good one. All right, you got him. That'll be enough. Come on, let's go collect our kills. 
careful on the way down so you don't hurt yourself. Now, how do you get back over and get the other kills? Got a lot of meat sitting over there, too. Whoa. Come on, Cole. That's our meat. You hear that, boy? Whoa. Get ready. God damn it. We gotta keep them off our kills. Ha! <laughs> we show. <laughs> nice work. Shit, more over here. Yeah, most we westerns right. made movies, uh, made uh, wolves and bears and shit like that seem like a much larger problem than they actually were. Ah, fuck me. Fucking bear. There he is. Quit fucking attacking him, you bastard. Fucking single shot piece of shit. We made magazines for a reason, man. There you go. Suck it, uh, Yogi. There we go. Ah. Ah. <laughs> sure took your sweet time. I was just admiring your rifle. Mm. Another tick or two, and you'd be putting me to bed with a pick and shovel. You're too damn ornery to die. Well, it prides me to see it's rubbed off on you plenty. Always remember, son, in this world, pure cussedness will carry you farther than the Comanche's pony. Ah, uh, here's our payday. Title drop. <clears throat> Wait here. Be back in a moment. Did you bring it? Where is it? The safe? I do all right, preacher. I'll rest easy tonight knowing one so capable as you is among us. A good day to you, sirs. If that's a man of the cloth, then I'm the king of Siam. <laughs> Keep an eye on him. I'm gonna have a word with the pilot. First victim. <clears throat> no! Kill them 
all and find the item. Get out of the way! Get on that kill boat cannon and blast them. Now they just happen to have a keel boat with a cannon on here. Kid, I need your help. Hey, you fuckhead. I got a knife, too. Sorry, Ned. They're climbing over the railing on the north side. You. Oh. Yeah, I know. Get out of here. Die. Fine shooting, Cole. Take this side. You man the other. There's a going fight out of you. Come on. Still got some left in me. As long as you hold up, you're into the deal. Keep coming. They're coming from both sides. Oh shit. What the fuck are you doing, Ned? Well, he does have only a single shot, so basically, uh, I understand. Oh shit, I'm hurt bad. I completed. Yeah, I need, I need to be healed though. It's too late. That preacher killed it. Son of a bitch is leading the ambush. Son, listen close, cause there ain't much time. I've done my best to raise you right, but all your life I've been lying to you. The 
spoilers are gonna blow. <laughs> Quick, take this. That's a token for the Alhambra, the cat house in Dodge City. Go there and ask for Jenny. I ain't leaving you, Pa. God damn it, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I ain't your father. Now, go. Cool. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's a cool looking locomotive. This does occasionally have Briscoe County Junior vibes. If you don't know it, it's a show from like the 90s. Well, Reverend, were my orders carried out? With a vengeance. And the missing item? It couldn't be recovered, sir. You failed me? No, sir. The whore had it stowed inside the safe, and it sank to the bottom of the river. Failure was not an option. The price must be paid. As someone who's had ear surgeries, that fucking shit does hurt. I'll explain better when I have a moment. Oh, what's this? Give me that back. Meant no harm, friend. I thought for certain you were dead. I, I kicked you three times. Who are you? Friends call me Honest Tom. I need to get upriver. The steamboat's been ambushed. The Morning Star? Hell, it was three days ago. Were you aboard? <laughs> oh, hate to tell you, friend. But no one survived. Renegades got them all. Scalped every man, woman, and child. Bloody savages. Ned. Where's Dodge City from here? Through the pass. About a day's ride to the ferry boat. That horse for sale? In a hurry, huh? I don't blame you. If I had me a token to the Alhambra, I'd be in a hurry, too. <laughs> you, uh, look to be a sporting man. Care to wager? <coughs> Creepy fucker. Stick your toes in the stirrups. Uh, you have ridden before, have you not? All righty, you ready, friend? Being honest as I am. Run around a bit before we wager. First, let's try some sprinting. Press the sprint button to spur your horse. Fine and dead. Do it again. Set first to speed to get it to start. Make daddy kick in the ass. <laughs> Spurring too much can even kill your horse. Then he'll be real mad. <laughs> Let's see you attempt some jumps. Rest your spurs for a spell, and the horse will revive. Find it in. Do it again. Okay, easy enough. Show me if you got the goods, kid. Any cuss worth his britches ought to be able to whip me in a horse race. Now let's see how good you really are. Let's race. Yeah, this tutorial shit's a little annoying. <clears throat> and you have to cheat to win the race. Ready to race! Ready! Go! 
Yeah, he's not as honest as he likes to let on. But then again, neither do you have to be. gonna save the spurring because he is right it will kill your horse if you do it too much the little bar next to the whiskey bottle in the lower left hand corner is what indicates how much uh, life your horse has essentially the whiskey bottle of course is essentially your healing potion you drink whiskey to get better from gunshot wounds not sure how that's supposed to work but whatever Yeah, this is a really stupid fucking attack, by the way. Come on. Because I don't see running a horse into something that outweighs it by fucking three times actually working. left you whip me on this part then I'm gonna have to give you my horse them pesky bulls are back to scavenge you can use spur or trample to scatter them now I'll just shoot the fucking things All right, fuck face. Kill all the wolves. Well, goddamn. I'm out of a quick draw. Use it all up. Oh, the ear surgery thing, yeah. Well, kid, you win fair and square. Be kind to her, will you? I will. She's been a good animal. Thanks. <clears throat> Come on. God damn it, it took you long enough. So much for your name. You really think I'd give up my ride without a fight? Let's kill this bastard. He's got an Alhambra token on him. There he is. Oh. Or where's Honest What's-His-Face? Where are you at, Buckface? There you are. Much obliged, Tom. If I pass this way again, I'll be sure to throw some dirt on you. Ah! 
Okay, yeah, Blackfoot camp. And now it's starting to get dark. Wonderful. That's just what I wanted. Get. Well, can't jump over the rock, so... what I got equipped, so let's see here. Alright, we're okay then. I want to fill my ammo up. And you'll see something up here in a minute. As you see, there's a chunk of gold on the ground, but you have to have a pickaxe and mine it. We'll be getting one of those very soon. Hey, Lucky. This is my last run till further notice. The fugitive band of Apaches are on the warpath again. They cut the telegraph and destroyed the bridge leading out of Dodge. What's got them stirred up? New railroad between Dodge and Empire. Cuts through their land. Dodge City. Take the token to the Alhambra Saloon and ask for Jenny. That's what Ned said just before he died. Oh, and seeing as you're new to Dodge, I thought I'd better warn you about the locals. Dodge can be a pretty rough place, so if you're going to start a fight, be prepared to finish it. Or plan on getting out of town until it blows over. I'm sure you'll be fine. Have a good one! Now you can pick up little side missions like the wanted posters and you'll have to do that because it does level your stats. <clears throat> or if you want to be an absolute ass monster. Oh, oh hell, I got caps lock on. All right. Okay, check this out. Well, I can't actually do it right now. Damn it, I forgot. I don't have the uh, necessary item. Let's see if I can afford it. Get out of my way. Oops. I'm used to hitting shift to run. Shift to run uh, works on the horses, but it doesn't work on you. It just makes you crouch. It is kind of annoying. It's an inconsistent thing, and it's really something the game should not have... That's not a design choice I would have made. Just received a new shipment of goods. Have a look. All right, what do I got? I got $40. Okay, give me a pickaxe. Give me a scalping knife, all right. Okay, well, first off, I was talking about that ear surgery earlier. Uh, I had ear surgery like back when I was a kid uh, to fix, uh, basically I was going deaf. So they put tubes in my eardrums to drain out the fluid and shit that was causing that. When I got a little older, got in my teen years, um, they removed those tubes and patched my eardrums. To do that, they had to cut my uh, ears off, or one at a time, of course. They didn't do them both at the same time. You know, uh, I'd wait like a year or two between surgeries. But they cut the ear off, get down in there, put a skin graft over the uh, eardrum, and then literally stapled my ears back on my head. You know. So, uh, anyway, the painkillers and shit wore off, and uh, for whatever reason, the prescription was screwed up, so I basically had to lay there and feel what it was like to have your ear basically... More or less just cut the fuck off. So, yeah, I know exactly what that guy felt. Because, you know, while I didn't feel them actually cutting it off, I was unconscious, you know, sedated. I know what, you know, what the pain of it is, you know, from taking that kind of injury. Damn, what the hell's going on here? There we are. Let me run around the corner here. There we go. This time, let's save again. Oh, wait, nope, don't create new. Anyway, this is kind of actually fucked up in a way. Okay, first and foremost, the fact that you can scalp someone in this game. I believe originally they intended to make it where you could sell the scalps, but you can't. You can't do anything with the scalps. 
And uh, so basically all it is is you're just torturing your enemies. You're finishing them off basically by scalping them. And what's even more fucked up is at no point in this game that I can recall are prostitutes ever an enemy. So they actually recorded voice lines for the prostitutes getting scalped. You know, I just did it originally back in the day just to see what would happen. You know, if there's any point to it, there's no real point to it. And the fact that they've recorded voice lines for the hookers getting scalped, that's just fucking crazy. Anyway, let's go ahead and reload. Okay, well, fuck it, I'll get shot. Alright, there he goes. Okay. But I am going to scalp motherfuckers during the game just because. Bought the damn knife, I'm going to use it. Alright, well, we're going to get through uh, this shit in the Alhambra, and then we're going to call it an episode afterward. Help you? I'm looking for Jenny. Hey, Jenny! Where'd you get this? A fella named Ned White gave me in. Told me to come here and ask for you. I remember Ned. He was real sweet on a girl that used to work here, Sadie. That's her picture above the bar. Sadie's dead. What? How do you know? Who are you? Ned was my father. He and Sadie were both killed on a steamboat up north. Come on upstairs. God damn it, girl! How long we gotta wait for you get a proper poke? Till I tell you. Now have another drink on me and I'll be with you shortly. He ain't getting a poke before uh, us. Let go of me! Not till I'm done with you, bitch! Come on! Uh, uh, yeah! Uh, yeah! Like this! Uh, uh, woo! Yeah! Stop him! I can't. Uh, oh, shit, I didn't want to do that. Save a bullet for yourself. Get upstairs and help get it. Bastard's face with my cat dog. Get out of the way, hooker. Please, God. No! <laughs> I'm taking damage to do this, but I ain't got nothing left to cut off. I drink some whiskey here real quick and get my health back up. Nice, nice little ambush. Nice. All right, that's enough scalping. You get the idea. Did I just kill a hooker? No, I, okay, I killed somebody else. Okay, cool. Yeah, ammo never does seem to be much of a worry in this. There's usually ammo refills sitting everywhere. Israel, come in here, candy ass. I got no. Now you're pissed me off. Harder, you'll be leaving here in a gut bucket. Oh hell. I was gonna scalp his ass, but come over here. <clears throat> Better show you this now before the rest of the red hands show up. It's all yours. The night before she left, Sadie begged me to keep it safe till Ned came for it. Poor girl was in love with him, I think. Ned never cared much for six guns. 
Rifle and tomahawk were his choosing. Where'd City go from here? Empire, New Mexico. A new sporting house wanted her for the main attraction, but she ran off a short time after she got there. Huh, you know why? No, but maybe I'll find out. As soon as the roads open, I'm going to Empire to replace her. Ah! Oh, yeah, I forgot that bitch, damn it. How do you know? When you want to give him a fucking burial? He's got his gang downstairs trying to set fire to the place. Well, it did, looks like they did a pretty fucking good job, girl. I got him. <clears throat> He's got me. No way. <laughs> oh, I thought you were dead. Fuck you then. Oh fuck. I didn't pay attention to my health. I was more busy uh, trying to take out torch guys. Yeah, 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 whatever. gang downstairs trying to set fire to the place. No wait. Turn it off. Put the torch down, assholes. That all you Damn, these guys are annoying. I'll dust the place. You stop the firebugs from starting more. Yeah, where's the fucking firebugs at? Jesus Christ, I need some explosives. God damn it. This is not going well. Damn it. Fuck off with this shit, guys. How about some ammunition? I'll call in the bucket brigade. Get out here, boy, and watch me finish what you start. He's outside, huh? Fucking hell. Take out the arsonist. I'm fucking working on it. So long. You're gonna need a horse. You're gonna need to shut the fuck up. Okay, well, never mind, they're all done. She's telling me bullshit. Okay, we're filled up on ammo. Let's get in here. Hopefully, that's everything. There we go. Let's settle this thing. If you got the balls.
Okay, I probably can't fucking do like I want to do and scalp his ass. I'm hit! I'm hit! I'm hit! I'm done, boys! Okay, there we go. Shotgun model 1887. Rude's Winchester 1887 single barrel shotgun. It's slow to reload, but great for ripping enemies to shreds in close quarters combat. Yep, we will take that. Hell of a shot, kid. Bet he was dead before he hit the ground. Huh, you gonna arrest me? Hell no. I'm gonna hire you. I'm Patrick Dent, city marshal. Where you been, Pat? All hell's broken loose here. Huh? Out at the bridge. Huh? Patches are making things plenty hot out there. Listen, I can use a dead shot like you to protect the Chinaman. How about it? He's coming back inside with me. Oh, lucky him. Well, if you change your mind, kid, come on out to the bridge west of town. Damn Peckerwood. <laughs> Jenny, can you keep a secret? I'm a book of secrets, honey. I was on that steamboat. A murdering preacher led the attack. I saw him kill Sadie. <gasps> a preacher? About a week ago, a reverend named Reed showed up here looking for Sadie. Did he say where he was from? He said he'd come from Empire. Then I'm going there with you. I know the mayor of Empire. His name's Hoodoo Brown. If anyone can help you find that preacher, it'll be him. Then I better get out to that bridge, help that marshal get the road open. <laughs> Keep the change. <laughs> Reed. That son of a bitch is gonna pay. Just as soon as I get to Empire City. Alright guys, that looks like a pretty good uh, spot to call it. We just got a new weapon, and we'll, we're not gonna use it right now, obviously. But yeah, uh, this is not a bad game. Some of the missions are fucking bullshit, but, you know. And of course, that was the final boss in this game. That one took a little while to figure out, you know, how to fucking take him down. I remember that Actually, that's pretty much the only part of this game I really do remember all that well, except for a couple other minor little story things. So with that, guys, I will see you next time, and we will continue Gun.